This elementary school is part of the Maple River District and is one of three schools that are still up and running. The school was originally built in 1963 with updates in 1997. It was originally a high school and the update in 1997 was to convert it to an elementary school. They took off the second floor of the building and made it into just an elementary school. The bell that was located on top of the building is still located in Good Thunder and you can go visit it located next to Happy Dance Convenience Store on Main Street. This change was due to the need to budget cut and spread. The converting of the elementary school from the high school was so that they could have separate schools for elementary kids and middle school and high schoolers. Well, I started back in 1990, and so I was actually here before it was even Maple River. So I actually started teaching when it was Mapleton, and I was able to teach in Mapleton for a few years, and then I went to Minnesota Lake. So I've spent my whole career here, and uh, my kids went through Maple River, so I have a lot of personal connections. Oh wow, that's a big one. Um, I actually attended school at Amboy Good Thunder as a high school student, so I have a long connection with the Maple River School District and came back later as a teacher and have been here for now 30 years. It's kind of cool. Wow, it's changed, changed a lot. I'm really excited about the new building. We've really added, we've lost some programs, but we've added a lot of programs. Currently we have STEAM, um, we have social workers right now, and so those are some things that, that have changed. Um, we have a little bit larger class sizes now, but we've had some really good changes and excited to see some more new changes in the new building. Oh, wow. Obviously we have a new school building. Um, I was part of the staff when we had the old building that was torn down, so I worked on third floor for many years. And that piece of the physical school building has obviously changed. And of course we have new staff members that it has been fun to get to know and become friends with throughout the years as well. Oh, lots of memories. I think probably for all of us that have taught here, the best memory is at the start of every school year, we ring the bell. And we sing the school song, and then at the very last day of school, we ring the bell. And we did that again this year. We rang the bell to begin the year, and now at the end, we'll ring the bell at the last day of school, and it will be the last time to ring that bell. That's probably one of the best memories. And also all the people I've worked with throughout the years here. Oh, friends. Um, getting to know other staff members, and building relationships with them and becoming friends with my students not necessarily in my classroom but later on as they got older um, it's fun to recap with them once in a while and see them in a different setting fun facts about the building there are tunnels underneath the building I'm not teaching in one of the classrooms now but in one of my former classrooms there are doorways that are usually covered with carpet and you can go underneath there are tunnels underneath the building so I don't know if that's a, a fact many people know it used to be haunted uh, we had Maggie the ghost that would sometimes visit third floor um, the other fun fact that I think is present now is the tradition of ringing the school bell on the first week of school and that happened to be in my third grade or my third floor building um, classroom as the bell tower so that was kind of a neat connection for me. When I first started teaching here this part of the building wasn't even here it was under construction and so I was in the old part of the building and I remember taking my class through the new part of the building and then getting them to lunch. We were walking our scaffolding and for a while we couldn't even access this part of the building we had to go outside and around to get to lunch. 
I don't know if it was really a lot different than it is now. Um, we still taught the same things. I think students have become more busy in their life outside of school now. So they didn't struggle so much with getting homework done and trying to find time for things. But those things are good too. So that's one thing that I think is different is the fact that students are just so much busier in their life in and out of school. Two thousand ish to six ish, give or take a year or two. Hmm. So I was in elementary school, kindergarten through sixth grade in Good Thunder. So that was like, hmm, the late eighties, early or no, not the late eighties, the late seventies, early eighties. Nice. That's about all I remember. Old, especially the first, second, third grade area. I remember there were three floors, and it was really cool to go to the third floor and hear the floors creaking and go to the library on the third floor and pick out a book. Um, the kindergarten room, I remember coming up the stairs and the kindergarten room being on the second floor. And when we went and had lunch and when we had um, gym, it was in the basement. You would go down the back way, it was really narrow and, and thin. And it was in the basement. And the, and the gym had like a, a balcony. And it was so fun to be in the balcony and look over the edge. And I couldn't believe, I remember this, that they would talk about when Good Thunder had their own high school and the games that they would have in the gym and people would go up in the balcony because there was no room. I mean, compared to gyms now, it was really, really small. So, yeah, I remember that gym really well. I had Mr. Aker for 4th and 5th grade, so that was probably the best. Yeah, my 6th grade class was with Mr. Olson, Randy Olson, and that classroom I can remember. I can re It was like at the end of the second floor hallway and people walking toward the room, you could hear the creaking of the wood floors. And then when we were in the room, there was a really cool coat closet and it had these arches. And sometimes when the when a couple guys would be really unfocused, Mr. Olson would have them just stand there in the doorway and hold the hold their hands out in the arches for like a long time. <laughs> so I kind of remember how cool that room was. Yeah. Probably I would beat Mr. Raker at checkers. I think my favorite memory is going going to the gym with Mrs. Coor, who was um, who was the Faya teacher, and she would do. We'd have to waltz, and we'd <laughs> have to do the Virginia reel and stuff. And I remember being in the gym, and then. Some of the other teachers would come in on that balcony and watch us doing waltzing and stuff. So I can picture that as a class doing that. I guess up to me, I'd keep the gym part. So that's decent shape and use it for like a community area. But the rest of it, not the greatest of shape. I think all of our towns need to have a place to gather. Um, the churches are really important for that and I think the school is part of that too. Um, I think Amboy's building, people really learned that if it just sits there, 
is just inviting trouble because people were throwing things, breaking things, trying to get in. And so at some point, there were people in Ambler that said, this has got to go because this isn't looking good in our community. I hope, I hope Good Thunder can, can find its purpose with that building because it, it is pretty, pretty important to the town and to all of us who have those memories there. It's just a matter of what can they make it be. So Garden City was able to transform theirs and have a purpose. Um, and places like Pemberton have one. So I hope Good Thunder can, can find a purpose to that and bring the community together. I don't know how that'll look, but I hope they can. Uh, kindergarten through fifth grade. <laughs> kindergarten through fifth grade. Uh, Mr. Selma. Uh, because this one I was the oldest and it's what I remember. My favorite classroom was the kindergarten classroom with Mrs. Bartholomew because we got to play toys, have nap time, and all sorts of fun. Probably playing wall ball on the side of the school. Favorite? Uh, I'll go with one here. We. Uh, me and a couple of buddies found the iTunes password and the iPad card, so we downloaded a bunch of games on the iPads. The, the downhill one, because it was bigger. The playground below the hill was uh, by far the best playground there, probably because we spun around on the